Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Ben and I'm a photographer and videographer based in North Wales. However, I'm also a self-professed nerd, so you can probably expect to see a few more tech related videos on this channel as well. So maybe a month ago or a few weeks ago, I announced that I got a brand new 27 inch 5K iMac. This is doing wonders for me with my workflow in both photo and video. When you're ordering an iMac or any computer off the Apple store, as part of the process is your upgrades. Many of these upgrades may well be very much worthwhile for your workflow, especially if you work in photo or video or design, but most of these upgrades come at quite a premium. So it really does matter whether they'll actually make an impact to your work. However, we do have to commend Apple for one thing, and that is on the 27 inch 5K iMac, they are still providing an access port on the back of the computer for your RAM. This means that you can completely bypass the Apple tax by purchasing your computer with the minimum of eight gigabyte DDR4 RAM and then installing it yourself. This is a super easy process. I've already added 32 gig to this computer as soon as I bought it, which means I'm currently running on 40 gigabytes. That initial 32 gigabyte that I bought, that only cost me 140 pound on Amazon. And as it happens, as you might imagine, in the Black Friday sales last week, Amazon had the crucial 32 gigabyte kits on sale for only 83 pound. So of course, I bought some. If I wanted 32 gigabyte from the Apple store, that would have cost me 540 pound and I would get 32 gigabytes. My upgrade cost me 140 pound and that was adding 32 gig to the initial eight gigabyte, which gave me 40 gigabytes. So what we're doing today is turning my 40 gigabyte of RAM into 64 gigabyte by taking out the original eight gigabyte of RAM and swapping that out with another 32 gigabyte. So we're gonna whack this into the back of my iMac now. All you need to do this process is your new RAM, a towel and either a pen, or if you're a photographer, videographer like me, you'll probably have an Allen key knocking around somewhere. So let's get to it. So obviously the first thing we want to do is switch her off. And then we'll get all our peripherals out of the way. We'll set our towel down. That should be fine. Okay. So we'll get rid of all the cables. Try and keep them fairly tidy so we don't have too much trouble putting them back in and turn our iMac around and then we'll lay it face down on the towel okay so now this is where our pen comes into play or in my case an allen key right where the power socket is right on the back of the computer you'll see this little button. All we need to do is push in on that button. You might even be able to do this just with your finger until the back hatch here pops up. I don't quite have the narrowest fingers for the job. So we'll use the arm key. There we go. Pop up the hatch, put that to one side. And there is our RAM. So then all we need to do next, you'll see these two little gray tabs with arrows on them. You need to push those outwards and the RAM tray will pop straight up. In my case, I can see exactly which two slots I've already added because they've got Vengeance written on them because they're the Corsair Vengeance RAM. So I know in this case, it's the slot closest to me and then the third slot in that I need to replace. So all we need to do is pull those up and out there's one and two. So then we'll pop open our new sticks of RAM and all we need to make sure of, along the bottom, there is a notch and we need to make sure that that, as we're looking at it this way, is just on the left-hand side. It's just off-center from the middle. So then all we need to do is 
get it in place, it will go down into the slot, push it down till we hear it click, and that's it, it's installed. And then we'll do the same with the other stick, and straight in and click in. And that's it, we've just installed our RAM. So then we'll push the levers back down and in towards the middle so they stay in place. Then we'll pop the hatch back on. The best way of doing this is just to place it on top and then push evenly across the whole thing. And that's it, job done. So now it's back in place. We've plugged all our accessories back in. It's the moment of truth. The fans are on, there we go. We can get rid of our towel. You're a towel. Log back in and then fingers crossed, we can go into our Apple menu and about this Mac, go into memory and there we go. 64 gigabytes from our four 16 gigabyte cards. Job done. So there we go guys. It is that simple. So I now have a total of 64 gigabyte for less than half the price that it would cost me to get 32 gigabyte from the Apple store. I'll leave links in the description for both the Crucial RAM and the Corsair RAM, which I initially bought. You don't need to do this in 32 gigabyte quantities by any means. You could, if you wanted, just buy another eight gigabyte to give yourself 16 in total buy whatever you think you need. An easy way of finding whether this is the right thing for your computer is firstly, check on the Apple website what you need for your computer. And then once you find one on Amazon, just have a little search in the reviews and the questions. Just search for your computer model and it will more than likely come up with people saying, yes, this works in my model if it's the same name it should work. So if you're thinking of doing this yourself, please do just check on the Apple support website to begin with, just to make sure that it is doable on your model of computer. I know that in the current 21.5 inch iMacs, you can't do this. You have to take it to a supported service provider, but if it turns out you are able to do it, it is so simple to do. I don't know why you wouldn't do it personally. So that's it for this video nice little quick one thank you very much for watching if you like this video please do be sure to hit subscribe down the bottom and the notification bell as well and if you did like it give it a like as well it's always appreciated as i say we may be getting some more tech videos on this channel but it is primarily still photo and video so until next time i hope you liked it and i hope to see you in the next one